How are you guys? Welcome back to episode of Thief. We've got Basso Jobs here. Basso often has side jobs to complete. Check with him regularly to see what he has lined up. So right now, that, friends? It's the we're actually on a main oh, job. What the fudge? She just scared the shit out of me. But anyway, we're on a main job because we're going to steal this ring from this dead guy. So here we go. What's going on? Ooh, who is this? What's up, bro? Something for all your nefarious needs. Okay. Nice. I was wondering when we were going to be able to find a shop to buy stuff. So anyway, we can buy resources like arrows. Uh, what the heck? Choke arrows? On impact, the bear releases a noxious and suffocating gas that momentarily incapacitates the target, causing mild nausea and difficulty breathing. We've got broadhead arrows. Uh, Double-bladed head deals damage over a good distance. Fire arrows. What the fudge? Spark upon impact. Create a small burst of flame that can ignite some flammable materials. Water arrows. We've seen those before. Rope arrows. We've seen blunt arrows. Is that tip we were just reading a little bit ago. Flash bomb. The powder nasp is react violently upon. Okay. So this is kind of like a flashbang. Poppy. Uh, chewing on the petals of this flower as the effect is sharpening Garrett's intuition. Restores focus. Food. Cool, we can also sell resources. So we can sell our water arrows, food, broadhead arrows. Uh, buy tools and upgrades. Wrench, uh, remove bolted plaques. Um, slightly reduces aiming time and greatly reduces aiming time. Quiver capacity. Wow, this is freaking sweet. Slightly increases lock picking sensitivity. That's pretty good. Trinkets, increases maximum focus, reduces cost of resources by 25%. Are these resources? Yeah. Wow. So you can reduce them by 25% by playing 750 G one time. That will probably save us a lot of money. Uh, increases the benefits of eating food. No sound on impact. Reduces damage taken from burning in traps. Wow. I think the first thing we're going to invest in our uh, the rest of our Let's Play here, and I think we should buy this, reducing the cost of re resources by 25%. That should save us some money over time, right? I, I don't know. It probably won't save us enough to, to, to make us return our investment. I'm not sure how much we're going to be buying, so we'll save that. Um, the wrench sounds pretty good. Tool used for, to open grates and remove bolted plaques. I'm sure that's going to be useful, so we'll go ahead and get that. And then... Hmm. How about we increase our lockpick quality? We got 100, 131G left. Um, let's try one of these choke arrows. That sounds pretty cool. Let's get some poppy. I'm not sure if we're going to use that or not. A fire arrow, a blunt arrow, and a flash bomb. Let's just try one of everything. So there we go. Okay, cool. That dude had a lot in his trench coat. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> All right, the city stone market. Yes, let's go to this district. All right. So are we allowed to walk through here or will people freak out on us? Nope, I think those guys are nice guys. Okay, good. I feel like I'm in Diagon Alley or something. Haggard, where are you at to tap on the bricks, bro? This is a scary place. Starting to think they're the lucky ones. Lucky, eh? Some of these gloomers bite off their tongues to make it stop. Gonna make sure we aren't missing anything. Oh wow, there's freaking graves right here. What the hell? Just graves on the side of the street? That doesn't seem very the old sanitary. On the morning side. The court of the Queen of Beggars. Search around for some loot. There's gotta be some loot in the chapel. It's gotta be like up top up here. <laughs> We're looting a chapel. Listen to yourself, Trevor. Oh, you are a shithead. Oop, what's this in the back wall? 
Haha! <laughs> I already used our freaking ridge. Holy crap! Now what do we have here? Our Lady of the Iron Litany Chapel. Okay, cool. I'm glad we bought that. I want to go through here. Man, sometimes square does not work in this game. <laughs> I don't know what's wrong with it, but at least we got through. Uh oh. Oh, girl playing some chess. It's a lonely night. It's the best kind. Ah, mm. uh, Garrett. You walk a path few would wish. That's the only one I know. Quite. You know Creepy what they looking. say about me? That you know everything that happens in this city. Not everything. Just the important things. What brings you here? Seeking my counsel? A year ago, I was at the Northcrest Mansion. Something went wrong. What happened to me? What happened to Aaron? A year ago. Men who believed themselves to know best try to control something they didn't fully understand for their own ends. The balance has shifted. We can all feel it. That's your answer? When my beggars found you after the accident, they thought you were dead. But you were not dead. So we healed your broken body and brought you from the city to, to keep you safe while we waited. But then, just after the gloom started, something began to wake you. It was time for you to return home. This city grows sick. It will tell you all in time, if you choose to listen. Careful, Garrett. There are worse things in the shadows than you. Oh, shit. That's scary. All right. Well, talking with the creepy old lady is complete. Earning focus points. Donate gold to the Queen of Beggars to receive focus points. Use focus points to enhance your focus abilities. What is fo- I don't even know what focus is. Okay, player progression. Chapters completed per playstyle, opportunist, ghost, predator. Uh, focus upgrades. Intuition. Um, nope, wait, I don't want to buy anything yet. Okay, so we already have level one of all these things, and you could upgrade to level two. Uh, how many are there? Oh, there aren't that many. Uh, all right, uh, highlight elements in the environment from a distance. Loot and interact objects are in blue. Threats and other dangerous elements are in red. Ability to know where unique loots and collection items are hidden. Handprints appear to reveal paths. Uh, dexterity. Ability to quickly pick up multiple items from an unsuspecting person. Ability to visualize the inner workings of lock mechanisms and increases the speed at which locks are picked. Uh, ability to visually detect noises from threats within a short distance. Greatly increases the range for visually detecting noises. But a stun an opponent with a single blow. With focus vision activated, targets opponent torso. Press R1. Uh, but not going to put it with a single blow. Wow! Knock him out with a single blow. That's crazy. Slight increases speed of your actions during marksman combat. Lockpicking by slowing the world around you. Greatly increases speed of your actions during marksman. Okay. Reduces the consumption rate of focus energy. Greatly reduces the consumption rate of focus energy. Um, hmm. I think we're going to start off with efficiency. I feel like efficiency is going to be the most useful because we're going to greatly reduce the, uh, the consumption rate of our focus, and then we can start working on other things. So we'll, we'll start off making an investment in our future. So there we go. We've got level two of that. That's good news. Okay. So we need to use focus more. That's R3, I believe. Yeah, now we're in focus mode right here. So we want to make sure we, uh, we take advantage of that when we can.
Oh wait, we're supposed to be going this way. Chat or dust to dust, chapter two. Let's go ahead and start this chapter, baby.